Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this video, I will share you about the Saudi Aramco type tables and the questions that are commonly asked during the evaluation for a master and chief mate. Um, there are two booklets regarding the type that were published by Aramco. We need to understand how to use it. The first is the type tables and the second one is the tidal stream. So it is important to know how to use it, especially during the familiarization period on board. And then for the question that will ask by the evaluator, uh, it will be around the definition and terminology on the Aramco type tables, and then the practical how to use of the type tables, and then work out that problems, and then a UKC calculation for crossing pipelines or uh, shallow water. Okay, uh, let's go to the example of questions. Sometimes the evaluator will ask you to explain uh, some terminology used in the tide table like uh, spring tide, what is nip tide, what is ebb tide and flood tide. Uh, so what the spring tide is? The spring tide it is when the range of tide is maximum. What does it mean? It means when the high tide is higher than average and low tide is lower than average. It occurs about every 14 days during the full moon or new moon and stronger current in open water. Nip tide. The nip tide is when the range of tide is minimum. The high tide is lower than average and the low tide is higher than average. It occurs at the quarter phase of the moon. And on the nip tide, we have the weaker current. Ebb tide, tide is when the water is decreasing from high to low and the flood tides when the water is increasing from low to high. Okay, next sample question. Explain the four tide patterns. So for your information, there are four tide patterns that occur in the Saudi Aramco concession. There are diurnal, semi journal, mixed mainly journal, and mixed mainly semi journal. What journal is? Journal is uh, when the tide only have one signal high tide and one signal low tide each day. And semi journal, when the tide have two low tide and two high tides each day. And mixed mainly journal is when the tide are in intermediate condition in which uh, inequalities exist between the successive high or low. Uh, it, but it mainly journal, mix mainly semi journal. Uh, the tides are in the intermediate condition in which inequalities exist between a successive high or low tides, but mainly semi journal pattern. Okay, in an Aramco tide table, it have two format for each station. We need to familiarize ourselves how to use it. The first format is tide graphs. It used to determine the overall pattern for the period, also height and time of the highest and lowest water. The second format is hourly prediction. It gives the information about the particular time and level of the water. Okay, we go to shamble of question and the answer. What is the height of pipeline over seabed? Normally, it is 2 meter for height of pipeline over seabed, but for the buried pipeline, it is 1 meter above the seabed. That means you have to minus 1 or 2 meters when you calculate the under clearance. And then, what is the meaning of UKC under clearance? UKC is a distant measure vertically from the lowest of the vessel it is keel to the closest underwater seabed, pipeline, structure, and etc. And what is the minimum under clearance allowed for a vessel under Charter Aramco? The minimum UKC for crossing over the pipeline or subsea installation is 5 meters or more. Minimum UKC over the seabed other than crossing over pipeline is 1 meter or more. And then minimum UKC when alongside at pier, port, 
and facility it is 0.3 meter okay next practical question uh, we must practice to calculate under kill clearance using aramco table for example the evaluator will uh, give you question the chart depth is 3.7 meter your draft is 3.3 meter and height of tide is 1.6 meter and what is the under kill clearance and is it allowed to pass the pipeline at this clearance well, we do the calculation. The UKC formula is the chartered depth plus uh, the tide and minus the vessel draft. The chartered depth is 3.7 we plus uh, the tide or 1.6 meters and then minus the vessel draft 3.3. We got 2 meters under kill clearance. Allowing 1 meter for pipe line height, then the clearance is. 2 meter minus by 1 meter so the result is 1 meter 1 meter is not allowed to cross the pipeline okay uh, work out tight problems taking depth from the Aramco chart and using the Aramco tight tables usual question you are given a chart depth and the vessel draft you then have to find the time when it's safe to pass over the pipeline for example Chart depth of our pipeline is 8 meter and the draft is 4 meters. Remember, UK C2 crossing over the pipeline is 5 meters. The, the chart the depth is 8 meters. The vessel draft 4 meters. 8 minus 4 is 4. The UK C is 4. So to comply with the 5 meters UK C requirement to cross the pipeline, we need to find out when the uh, tide is uh, plus one meter so uh, look in the tide tables on the deconstruction and find out whether the tide is at one meter or uh, 100 centimeter uh, this will be the earliest time that you can proceed cross uh, the pipeline on a rising tide or the latest time that you can cross the pipeline on the rising tide or the latest time that you can cross the pipeline on falling tide Okay, next sample question. If you are obligated to pass pipeline less than 5 meters, what will you do? I will call the port control and field service request permission to pass with slow speed in from the UKC with squat calculation. Well, uh, that's all the common question that asked about the tight tables. Thank you for watching and see you on next video.